Triple H. You're just like these people here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. You know a lot about losing, don't you? See, the last two times you and I fought in this ring, I beat you fair and square. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. This is Jerry Hawkeye! Coming up, today's main event is Kurt Angle taking on Triple H right here on Memphis Championship Wrestling Unleashed. And our opening bout for today's program, it's a six-man tag. Brandon Baxter, Victoria, and beautiful Bobby Eaton on their way to the ring. They're going to be taking on Jerry the King Waller, Bill Superstar Dundee, and the Cat when we come back. Whoopi Goldberg is just trying to make a living. What line of work are you in? We got superstar Bill Dundee and beautiful Bobby Eaton in the ring. Two legends in the Mid-South area, familiar to all the fans here. They haven't faced each other in the ring in quite some time. And listen, listen to the crowd, Bobby sucks. Shot to the jaw there. You know, it started out as originally scheduled as a three on two matchup, and then uh, Bill Dundee flexing his behind the scenes power a little bit. I thought you were going to say power pro. I thought you were going to say muscle. As I was saying, uh, inserted himself into this matchup, so now it's a six person matchup. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Captain. That's for the potty mouth, Bobby. That's the lady she That's the lady I don't know what it is. All right. I'm telling you what, what is serious business, though, in this matchup is what Victoria and Brandon Baxter did to the cat and her sister recently on a Power Pro broadcast. That was shocking. And I think that Victoria would love nothing more than here in front of this enormous crowd. Whoa. I was about to say Victoria would like nothing more than to make her reputation tonight. 
Uh-oh. Well, that didn't quite work out there. Uh-oh, she wants it now. Bring it out, baby. We're begging for it. And speaking of reputations, we want puppies. We want cats. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. We're on now. Some advice from Brandon Baxter. An arm drag from the cat. And now a hip toss. Oh, sweet! Victoria, look out, you're right! Ah, oh. Bobby! Brandon getting out of the way. Wait a minute! Monkey flip! Jim Cornette's rolling over at his grave. And he's not even dead! Brandon! Oh, what the kid, what's the kid gonna do now? She's suplex! And Brandon in, and Brandon out. He doesn't want any part of her. She's a feisty cat. She's got claws, she scratches. Brandon Baxter having a little confab with beautiful Bobby Eaton. Bobby Eaton, of course, is tag team specialist the years in the Midnight Express. He knows all of the tag team tricks. Uh oh, tag on the king. And here we go. And I can tell you, there's only one person on this side that's going to get in the ring against him, and that's beautiful Bobby, and I'm not quite sure he wants to right now. Well, I know that Lawler would love nothing more than to get his hands on Brandon Baxter. Back a few months ago, one of Lawler's infamous fireballs uh, really did a number on Brandon. Didn't know he could look any worse. But Lawler's been having his problems with the right to censor. Stephen Richards, Ivory, Bo Buchanan, the good father of Al Venus. And... As this broadcast airs, the results of No Way Out will be known. So you've got to wonder what the future will be for Jerry the King Lawler, the cat, and the right to censor. But I think Lawler is all focused on beautiful Bobby and Brandon Baxter here in Jonesboro. Well, you know, you, you joked around about Jim Cornette earlier, but I know for a fact that Bobby Eaton talked to Jim Cornette this week, got a few tips. Down on the floor. Watch out. Watch out for Vic. Oh, Bobby. Oh, oh. backdrop on the concrete floor. And look out, Victoria taking a swing at the king. The king plants one on her. This ain't going the way they wanted. Wait a minute. Hey, is Jerry a good kisser? Obviously not. She didn't like it. I got in the spirit of the XFL there, you know? Yeah, just run out onto the field and do that. He hate me. There the King Lawler. Oh, Victoria's embarrassed. Oh, she didn't like that. Lawler slipped her the tongue. Maybe she slipped him the tongue. As long as somebody slips somebody the tongue. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. You'll be watching that kiss on slow mo about 9,000 times this week. You perv. Why are you back again? Uh, I forget. <laughs> is, oh, yeah. Is there an XFL game on Hammer there? David Jett, I forgot. Oh, yeah, all right. All right, Bobby Eaton into the ropes. Double elbow out of the legendary team of Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee. Not a very good 
I think if Brand is the team captain, he's got to call timeout. There we go, finally. Headlock out of Dundee. He just punched Dundee in the back of the head. There goes Bobby. And here comes Brandon inside of the leg. Oh, and Jerry Lawler's eyes just got wide like a kid on Christmas morning. There's a sock for Brandon. Brandon's shoulder went out. Meanwhile in the ring, beautiful Bobby Eaton. In on Bill Dundee. Boy, if we can get a shot of this, you can see Brandon Baxter's in all kinds of pain down here on the floor. His shoulder's separated. Brandon's had a history of that before. He's trying really to get did a number on him. I, not to take away from the action, but man, oh man, we've been having some fun out here. But Brandon Baxter is hurt. All of a sudden, this matchup turning very serious in tone. And Victoria having to go on the offense. It's a straightforward attack. And now the tag's made. Beautiful Bobby in the ring. I'll tell you what, I got to give it up for Brandon. He's down here on the floor. He's pulling on the ring post. I wonder what the heck he's doing. Kind of like Mel Gibson in uh, Lethal Weapon. He's popping his dislocated shoulder back in. Dundee's down. Wait a minute. Tag, Tag on the cage. Here comes Brandon. Injured shoulder and all. Oh, look out. Victoria. Oh, there. They're on top of each other. Girl, oh, girl action right here. All six people in the ring. Kevin Kelly. Who else is in there? Rocking my the view. What? I'm trying to check it out. Kevin, it's, oh, my God. Damn your eyes, man. Center of the ring. Lawler. Fired away on beautiful Bobby, but oh. all attention is on Cannon Victoria at ringside. Victoria takes a vicious shot into the ring apron, that side of the ring. Pile driver time, Kevin. Wait a minute, can't go up top. I don't think Lawler's gonna be able to hold it. Oh. Pile driver. And what do we got here? A rocket launcher? Wait a minute, that's a Midnight Express move! And your winners, Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler, and the Cat! The Cat just pinned beautiful Bobby Eaton. That's gotta be one of the biggest upsets ever! Bobby Whoa. Eaton made a living off that rocket launcher for years, bitten by the hand that fed him! Oh, he's not going to forget that. And it was Lawler that did the dirty work. Meanwhile, Brandon Baxter outside the ring. After that shoulder injury he sustained wasn't much help. Who do I think is going to win the Kurt Angle Triple H match this evening? We got two of the toughest competitors in the WWF today. So you know it's going to be a great match. But if I had to choose a winner, I think I, yeah, I have to choose Kurt Angle for a lot of reasons. He's a smart champion. He's an Olympic gold medalist. Besides that, I had a little talk with Kurt earlier today, and uh, I think he's got a sound game plan for tonight. The stars of Mephatic change in Bowed Up over the past few weeks. A man whose mental stability completely unraveled before everyone's eyes. They're still the Southern Tag Team Champions. They're still brothers. They're still the Dumps, but I don't recognize them. And the challengers from Edmond, Oklahoma, Ross and Charlie Haas. Uh oh, here we go. 
so far for Bo and Jack Duff. background at Seton Hall University from Oklahoma. Grew up uh, huge fans of professional wrestling. And while they were in college competing, competing on the amateur level, they always harbored dreams and desires of uh, one day working their way up to the World Wrestling Federation. And their first step is here in Memphis Championship Wrestling. And what a step it will be if in Jonesboro, the Haas brothers come out on top. Tag made, Russ is in. Come on, get him out, Russ. Southern tag team titles on the line. A lot at stake here at this big, historic show. And look at that. Charlie takes him back down. The leg scissors, and he's found. Oh, oh, that's a cheap shot right That'll there. That'll slow him down. What's his name? Well, Russ and Charlie Haas, well, they were, uh, after they got done with college at Seton Hall, they were cutting their teeth on some of the independent ranks in the Northeast. I met Russ and Charlie, actually, back in 1999 in the East Coast Wrestling Association. And congratulations to Spanky and American Dragon for recently participating in the Super 8 tournament. Fine showing. They had a tournament at a motel. Super 8 is one of the most prestigious light heavyweight tournaments in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew about that one. Super 8, of course. Right next to the big Motel 6 Battle oh, Royal. Stop it. No, I would... Don't even go there. All right, Russ Haas back in the ring. I'm kind of surprised at the way they've been able to dominate the dub so thoroughly in the opening minutes of this matchup. Well, that's a little bit more of what the Dubs are going to have to rely on. That a little bit of brute force. Russ using the ropes as counter, but boy, how much pressure can that injured elbow withstand? Oh! Back to basics with the Beal. But everything's done with authority from the Hosses, and Sane goes for the dub down across that injured arm, David. And now his brother, Charlie, desperately trying to get in the ring to help out. Referee keeping him out. The Dubs double team and immediately go to work on that arm. Charlie's got a temper. He sure does. Not working to his advantage. Well, here, I mean, he's, he's seen his own flesh and blood, his own brother. I had a chance to meet uh, Russ and Charlie's dad for the first time before the showdown at the Nut House. Telling stories about how the boys would break furniture in the house, wrestling one another. Come on, what's the Dad on hand here for this event. Well, what could he be thinking? Watching his son in here with an injured arm, worried about his health. You gotta know, he's gotta be thinking maybe there's a time and a place to win the titles, but this may not be it for his sons. Gotta think about their safety first. Elbow, though. Jacked up, it's staggered, and that one went down to the mat. Crowd now, really pulling for Russ to make the tag to Brother Charlie. Four years his senior, fresh on the apron. Here comes Jack. Russ, out of the way and gets the tag. Here comes Charlie. Oh! Down goes Jack, down goes Bo, down goes Jack, down goes Bo! Oh my! Great rotation on the power slam, one, two. Bo's in there. Breaking it up. Well, Russ is down here on the apron. You can see that arm swelling almost around the bandage. What a slingshot! Cannonball, 
coming through. That was a great move. We got two outside the ring, two inside the ring. And it's Charlie. Backslide, one, two, three. Darby's worried about the legal man. One, two, no, jacked up out of it. Who's the legal man, Jet? Is it Charlie and, uh, and jacked up? Well, I know Charlie is the legal one on the house, brothers. I'm not sure about the depth. Look at this. Ah, here comes Bo. Oh. The look in Bo Dub's eye says it all. He's lost. Brain scrambler. Brain scrambler. Yes. Oh, my. Concussion City. One, two, and three. Oh, he got a shoulder up. Charlie got the shoulder up right at the last moment. The Ducks off their night in Jonesboro was over. And I'm sure so did Charlie Haas. Here comes another brain scrambler. Oh, Spear. Spear, one, two, got him! The winners and new Southern Tag Team Champions, the Haas Brothers! And it's the city where the Dubs lose the gold. Congratulations to Russ and Charlie Haas, the new Southern Tag Team Champion. Oh, man, Russ, we won it. Wow. Our so first happy, Southern brothers. Tag Team title. Awesome. Yeah. We've got Scott Vick and Seven have jumped Charlie and Russ Haas in the locker room. The Haas brothers just won the Southern Tag Titles from the Dubs. Oh man, they have got, they've got Russ busted open. Scott Vick and Seven pounded away on him. I think they've got them both busted open. A vicious attack, blood all over the place. Can we get somebody in here to get these guys off of them? Scott Vick and Seven planning this sneak attack. Oh man, check the blood flowing down from Russ. Charlie's still got a little fight left in him, but I don't know. Look out, he's got that metal chair again. Come on, not that. No. Oh man, what a. Access Hollywood. Access Hollywood takes you. You in 30. Gonna get things rocking here. Head into the ring post. Take it to him, Brian. Oh, look out. Oh, I was right in the throat. Drop kick. Cover. Got a one. About a one and a half. Before that show started coming up there. Oh. Down goes Rod Rages. And a little bit of dancing. Wait a minute. His pants are falling down. How embarrassing. That's happened to me before, but usually I mean to do it. Oh, look out. Rod Rage is in from behind. Rod Rage is now pounding away on Grandmaster Sexay. Where's the gear boy now? Costume jewelry flying everywhere. Is... Oh. 
Sam Lowe, expert photographer at ringside, will take care of that. Sam Lowe here taking pictures. Of course, Bill Apter here tonight from Wow Magazine. Cover. Count of one, two, and a. Whoa, that was close. Well, the television champion sure was shooting his mouth off a while ago, but he's backing up those words now. There you're getting a real up-close-and-personal shot of Grandmaster Sexy being chucked over the top rope. <laughs> Slugfest in the corner. Ronnie's going to come out on the winning end of that one. Breaker. Well, Rod Rangers now positioning Grandmaster 6A just so, and I think he's going to end things right here. Rod Rangers with the new stall in him! Oh! What a flash landing! Grandmaster still staggered. Blocking some shots, firing away. Since Rob Rages into the ropes. Catches the boot. Oh! Enziguri with authority. Malone, the referee. Power driver. No. Power bar. Cover. Referee out of position. Oh. And that ref being out of position may have cost Grandmaster Sexy the matchup. Because I think he would have had him. You want some of that, Kevin Kelly? Nope. The crowd here certainly wanted some of that. Oh, oh. Out. <laughs> Referee down. Well, how is this going to impact the outcome of this matchup? Well, I tell you. Knowing Rod Rages, he's going to take every advantage of a referee not watching his every move. Rolls right got him. in front of him. I think might have a full moon over Jones. Yeah, I don't want to describe that one. And as we saw before, we know Grandmaster Sexay has nothing down his trunks. Grandmaster trying to revive referee Robert Malone. Now, wait a minute, Rod Rages has pulled out something from under the ring. Oh, man. What in the world was that? It looked like a cooking pan. It may have been out here for a hardcore matchup. Who the hell's baking cookies under the ring? Cover. Rod Rages down. The TV title hangs in the balance. Malone making the crawl. One, two, two and three. Go. He got up. Grandmaster got the shoulder up. What are you thinking, you idiot? He's got it again, that cooking pan. Everybody in 
Jonesboro, especially Rod Rages. Grandmaster's the new television champion. Bring the stars of Memphis Championship Wrestling to your town, live and in person. If your school or civic organization is ready to take advantage of the hottest fundraiser in the Mid-South, don't hesitate. Call 901-756-5498 or visit us on the web at memphischampionshipwrestling.com. Dates are filling up fast, so call 901-756-5498 and we'll see you in the ring in your hometown. From Greenwich. You know that. Yes, what are you talking about? Kurt Angle, Olympic gold medalist, the three eyes. He was a Southern Heavyweight Champion, for God's sakes. Three eyes? Three eyes. Integrity and, integrity and intelligence. I think those are it. And when he gets all three, then give me a call. He doesn't even have those. Yeah, he, he does. I have the first year old Wait Continental a Champion Wait a ever. Wait a minute. Yes, come Wait. on. One word for you. Pedigree. Pe pedigree? That's a nail with dog food, Gas. Well, I know, Penny really are from Texas. I beat my dog that. Penny Green? Yeah. I know what this is. Absolute, he's got him up again. Dragon screaming, he nails it. Connect. Two and a three. Here is your winner, Joey Abs. Look out there, all guys are going in. Joey Abs is nailing guys left and right. The click tried to get in on top of Joey Abs, and he is completely out of control. Joey Abs has had enough, and it's not Memphis Championship Wrestling. It's Joey Abs who is unleashed right now. Power bomb onto Spanky. He takes the ref down. He's looking for he's looking for more bodies. He's laying out the whole locker room. Who do I think is going to win? Sure, Kurt Angle's got a lot of skill, and he made it fast up through the ranks of WWF. But Triple H, to me, is going to be the winner. Because he started out at the bottom of the car, worked his way up, took his time, step by step, and made it to main event status. Just like I'm doing in Memphis Championship Wrestling. You saw how I laid out half the locker room last week, and you'll find out next week what we're going to do to the click. I'm going to run through all three of those little jerks, and I have a new fire in me, and I'm going to run through Memphis Championship Wrestling. or email us at mcwwrestling at hotmail.com. Join the Memphis Championship Wrestling Team today. It's Triple H, it's Kurt Angle for the World Wrestling Federation Championship at the showdown at the Nuthouse. Biggest main event ever in the history of Memphis Championship Wrestling and definitely in Jonesboro, Arkansas. What a historic night. And now this matchup. Angle very quickly taking over on the left arm of the game. <laughs> A brutal war jet between these two at the Royal Rumble. And of course tonight, there are no outside distractions. There's no Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. There's no Trish. It's just one-on-one, -on -one, Kurt Angle, Triple H. Back of the elbow now, sends Angle flying. Now look at Triple H, that little grin on his face. 
Well, Kurt Angle, I think, wants nothing more than to be loved and accepted by the fans. After all, he's an Olympic gold medalist, a World Wrestling Federation champion. Look at Angle now, pounding away on Triple H. Cameraman. Cattle along with Triple H. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Kurt Angle standing around, catches a shot right. One more. Top of sends the Kurt Angle down again. Well, this time, though, Triple H's not going to wait for Kurt Angle to recoup. Oh, Kevin Kelly, I'm begging them not to come over here. I'm begging them. I'm getting out of the way. Is I'm glad I'm not Spanish. Z. Triple H stomping away in the midsection of Kurt Angle. Things are not looking good for the WWF champion. Come on, come on. He just shoved in there, Garvey. Referee trying to get him out of the corner. Well, the ref's going to have to be a little more aggressive when you got two guys in there of this caliber with this much personal history between the two of them. And you remember it when Kurt Angle planted that kiss on Stephanie? Well, I'm telling you what, these two have such a history, and it's all culminating here tonight at the showdown at the Nuthouse. Cheap shot from Kurt Angle. And now it's the game who's rocking. Here they come again. All right. Ow! Man down the edges. That. I'm surprised our desk has. Ah, but look at this. Kurt Angle now, beginning to pound away. Come on, get up. Come on, break, come on. Come on. Very blatant show cold in the corner. A very intense Kurt Angle. And why shouldn't he be? Battling the game here at the showdown at the Nuthouse. Intense. Suplex. There's a cover and a count of two. Come on, watch the close fit. Open the hand, Angle. Come on. And here comes Triple H. into the ropes. Check out that knee right to the midsection. Right into the midsection. You heard the wind pouring out of Triple H's lungs. There's a cover to no, sir. And the play by pay money for this. Bird Angle's quieted this crowd here in Jonesboro. Yeah. Vertical suplex. And another. A third. Wow. There's your cover. Count of two. No, sir. The game's still so strong. He's not going to let Kurt Angle get out of Jonesboro, Arkansas that easily. Boy, it's breaking down here. Kurt Angle in with the sleeper hold. In this historic matchup, first time that a WWF championship 
has been defended on Memphis Championship Wrestling. Are the lights going out for the game, or can Triple H somehow find the strength to escape the sleeper hold of the World Wrestling Federation champion? The game down to one knee. Kurt Angle's twisting around, putting more and more weight onto that hold, onto Triple H. The game down. Wait a minute, though. Elbow. Ooh, what a shot. Another. Three times. Back to the sleeper. Now the second time, will Kurt Angle be able to apply, have the same leverage? And how much energy in the reserve tank does the game have? Are the lights going out for Triple H in Chokesboro? Referee down there checking. when things look bleak is for Triple H. The game has seized the momentum. It's Kurt Angle, the World Wrestling Federation champion on the receiving end. Reversal. Oh, boy. Knee lift. Let off rest. Two. Oh, the hand was coming down for the third time. So close. He's the game that he wants. That WWF championship back around his waist. Here we go. Caught it with the neck breaker. <laughs> belly to belly suplex. Tremendous counter move by Kurt Angle. <laughs> Match is taking its toll on both men. Kurt Angle back up. Come on, open the and he's firing away on Triple H. Come on, get him out of the corner. Come on. Look out. Pedigree. Pedigree. Wait a minute. Kurt got out of it. Oh, oh man, right oh. into the referee. Close line. Triple H looking around for Mike Darby. All of the game's weight went down solidly under Darby in the corner. Oh, no. Low blow. DDT. DDT. DDT by Kurt Angle. We still have no referee. He's out on the ground. Kurt Angle at our desk. He's grabbing the, he's grabbing the belt. Just wrenched that World Wrestling Federation Championship out of my hands. David Chet, what's he going to do? He's going to climb in the game. Oh, he's winding up. He's got him set up here. Oh, man. Coming. The click of the three. The 
Flick have hit the ring on Triple H. Look at these. What kind of deal is Kurt Angle made here tonight in Jonesboro? You know he had to have paid them off. The Flick. Stomping away. Shooter reverses. Triple H has a bow into the knee. And here comes Sensation. Thank you. 